Hey everybody, Pelican Tacos here with the dude. The dude is in the house and we're gonna make a picture today. Yeah. What should we make a picture of? I, I was thinking something with giants. Something with giants? Yeah. Like this giant? Ah! Yeah, that's me under his foot. That one? Should we do that giant? Yeah. Sure? That that barbarian's me. Ah! He's getting squished. All right, we're going to use this giant right here. Got this picture. Pretty sweet. Notice how the background is checkerboarded. Now, in photo editing, that usually means that it is transparent. Now, a note for you guys who are saving pictures. JPEGs do not save transparent backgrounds, as you learned the hard way today. Yes. In your game that you're programming. Yes. <laughs> and PNGs do save that transparency background. So, uh, PNGs are the way to go if you want to have something transparent. Imagine taking this giant, putting him in a video game. You would not want a whole square all the way around um, inside that game. You would want the definition of his hands, the fingers, feet, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to copy this. Control A selects everything. Control C copies again. And I'm going to go back to this one. And this is our template for my Instagram picture. And I just save this here. I've got several different things. If I want to double tap in there, I can do that. I have my button saved as layers. Layers are very, very helpful for you. See them as like, what, pieces of paper? Yeah, on top of each other. Exactly, so you can move them back and forth. This is my YouTube link one. Um, that's my old banner. So I have several different things in here that I can hide back and forth. So um, with this one, I thought it'd be really funny uh, if we did something with a giant, if we had it like those Russian nesting dolls. Oh, that'd be funny. You know what those are? Yeah. Where it's like bigger and smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Now he's fairly small down there. So let's see what we can do. I, I want to come in here and we should erase this dude right now. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck to this stinky fart. <laughs> <laughs> his arm. He's I like, know. Mm. He's like, oh, there's my arm. I'm going to hit little blur here. And let's blur his arm. He's like, my arm is getting longer <laughs> and longer. I've got the longest arm ever. <laughs> that looks so weird. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we move his head off. Whoa, Pull his head off. I'm a... Decapitated. All right, this is the blur tool. The blur tool is very, very helpful. I'm going to make it fairly smaller. And I'm going to fill up this. And I'm just going to go back and forth. And if we can get it right... The Barbarian, that one didn't look very good. Control Z is also your best fan, friend, or Command Z if you're using a Mac. I really, really love that command. It's very helpful. Do you think he has high archers or low archers? What do you think? Well, I don't think he has any archers. Archers? But I think he has <laughs> arches. We should yeah. put, that would be funny to put an archer on a his low arch. low archer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, E is like for a level earth. one archer. That's right. Low arch. I've got low arches. All right, we're going to erase this stuff down here. I'm going to come in. The lasso is very, very helpful. This is a selection tool. I come in here, right here. And if I double tap, I hit delete, it is gone. Hold down spacebar to move things around, which is very, very helpful. Yeah, the sword delete in his this. Foot. <laughs> like in his big toe. Like, be like, oh, let's move this. Um, Splinter. Oh, no, we want to do this right here. And take the wand and subtract all of that. So now we just have the sword to nope to move. So we can cut it if we do that, and then we could like poke him in the foot. That'd it's be like, funny. Like a lion. I got something in my big toe. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we're gonna get that out of here. So now we've got the giant. This is our template. This is the one we're going to use. Doesn't even look like he had a barbarian under his foot, does it? No. That's awesome. That's really cool. Should we give him like armpit hair? That would be really funny. That actually would be kind of give make it, it orange. Give him like our orange armpit hair. Let's totally do that. Um, let's do the clone tool. So this this is a clone tool. This is pretty awesome. What you do is you rest your cursor where you want to clone, and you hold down Alt. So I want to clone that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually make a layer underneath this, and I'm going to put his armpit hair right there. And that doesn't look too much like it, but I will do more about this in just a second. So we've got that, and now we're gonna take and go on him, and we're gonna do, we're gonna change the opacity to more like 50% here. And let's see what we can do. We can now put a little bit underneath there. Is that working? Yeah, that works. Is that working? Except his hand, we can fix that. Oh, that looks, that looks okay. That looks really good. I'll put it like that. So 50%. Give him some chest hair. Give him some chest hair? I should totally give him some chest hair. All right. 
it would be funny to have like one of the girls in Clash of Clans who go into the front hall have them like making a blanket of his hair. <laughs> that would be so weird. He's sitting there with like a stack of hair. <laughs> like, That's it. funny. All right, so we're going to take these two layers together and we are going to combine them so they are one. Before they were two different layers, now they are one. I'm going to do go to the, this move tool and if I hold down the option or alt key, notice that there's double arrows. Do you see that? That means they're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to take it and look, I've made another one of him and another one and another one and another one. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh my gosh. Whoa. All right, so we're going to teleport or teleport, transform this dude, and he's going to be stepping on top of this giant. And do Clone Wars. We should totally have. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So that is going to make him, and but he notice he is underneath it, and you want him to be on top of it. There it is. Maybe you can move the foot over to the left a little bit. Yeah. So let's do. If you could see it past it. I know, huh? Right, but that sometimes gets annoying with eye draw too. Yeah. There we go. How about that? That's good. All right. So there is that. Maybe now we want to. Him up a little bit. Him right here. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah, Tickle your toes. Oh, a giant is tickling it. <laughs> All right, so now we'll take him, and then we will shrink him down. And now he's going to be... He's so tiny. Yeah, he's so tiny. Look at the cute little giant with orange armpit hair. <laughs> there we go. All right, so he's going to be there. And then should we do it again? Yeah. We should totally do it again. It's going to be so pixelated. It will be. That's okay. <laughs> All right, we'll take him now, move him down there, and we will transform him. And we're going to shrink him. Shrink him. Oops, I don't want to do that. That's for another video. We'll sh no, stop it. No, stop it. I need to get in. There we go. Get in closer. Okay. And we'll shrink it even more. Look how tight. Oh Look how pixel it is. We should put an archer there. All right. And then we'll do one more. Let's see if we can get one more underneath it. It's going to be like four pixels. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> you can't even tell what it is. But I, I would say it's like you a will bar know. of chocolate. Yep, yeah, that's... <laughs> He's that's like not stepping on, stepping on, stepping on. That's awesome. That's not chocolate. What is it? <laughs> Giant poo, apparently. Yeah. All right. So. Do that chocolate. Poo. <laughs> All right. Let's go into. We want the Clash of Clans style. Let's put that. Where should we put that up? Or. I think right there's good. Down below, right here. Yeah. And he's put, put it like under his foot. Yeah, like that. Like okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And what should we call this? Nesting dolls. Uh, clashing dolls. <laughs> Let's do, let's see, nesting dolls. That's not very big. Um, I don't, let's see if I spelled it right. I don't even know if I did. But T is the text. It's so hard to read against the It chapter. is. And we will go I'll do that here in just a second. Let's move this. Now, notice this layer. It's underneath the big foot right there. Ba -dum -bum -sh. And we'll <laughs> go up here. And there it is, nesting dolls. And all right, we'll do that. And then I have a shortcut. This is a stroke. This is the outside which is very, very handy. This is a, a layer effect where you can outline it. It's called a stroke. All right, and then we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna make the bottom one black. So it looks more like ah, the text that the creepy. Clash of Clans font does. Maybe two of those. And all I did was just duplicate it. And now the, the problem with this is we wanna make sure it is not over like anything. But rule of thirds is a big deal. We want this to be on the rule of thirds. If you don't know anything about photography, you always wanna have a rule of third here. I've made almost like a triangular uh, shape here, and I'll, I'll, I'll outline it here. Triangles are really, really good when you are um, doing any sort of drawing or artwork. So notice here, I've got a, a triangle of his head over here. Pretty awesome, pretty good, and that is very, very helpful. You want to put your emphasis on the thirds. The nesting dolls in the, in the bottom third, his face is in the top third, and he forms almost like uh, a triangle there. So You should move the like the two texts under his leg because it looks like he has a peg leg. Right here? Yeah, because doesn't that look like a peg leg? Kind of. So what are you thinking? How would I do? Like, oh, like this one? Or no, if I move it I underneath his leg, I don't know that that would actually work because you wouldn't be able to read it. Yeah. It would be like nesting owls. <laughs> What's an owl? I don't know what an owl is, but good thought though. Short I, for troll. <laughs> I wish I could do something like that. I actually was thinking about that up here. Um, but I don't know that I can do that. So we're going to leave it as is. And let's go to the background right now. I want to do a gradient. I want to talk about filling. Um, normal fill right now, like our neighbor, his name is Phil. Um, we come here and that you switch this to a gradient. Gradients are pretty cool because they do 
Notice that they, they spread that's from crazy. different colors to other different colors. <laughs> so we want to do something that's complementary, maybe like his eyebrows. I really like his eyebrows. Um, of course, that might not show up. Let's yeah. do his belt. <laughs> yeah, like, that'd be good. I like his belt there. Thank you. I like his belt there. So let's do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first color is going to be just a normal belt color. And then the second color come here is going to be, uh, let's do a darker red. Okay. So we've got two of those. Now, if I do gradient from where I pick it up to the other end is where it starts and finishes. But that's the old one that I want. I want to do that one. Starts and finish, just like that. Uh, that's, that's Does that make sense? So if I draw that line shorter, notice the transition is much shorter. Yeah. So again, thinking of the rule of thirds, we probably want to put the transition right there at his face. So it brings you up all the way to his eyes there. Now the cool thing about gradients is we can actually double click on the gradient and we can move this over and we can create a new color. So if I, if I click down here, I'm going to go more on the lighter side. And so now we have three gradient colors and I can bring that I can stretch it out which is pretty awesome so now when I do this it's gonna put all three of those colors right there but I want to go from one third to the next third and let's come down here see how that looks like that something like that so now nesting dolls is on that third he's getting hit down there on that underneath the dolls boom he's up there as well what do you think I think it's good. I think that is awesome. If I do so say myself, and I just did. So let's Yep, you did. <laughs> let's take this. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit. I think if we go more on a light style and change opacity here to more like 50%. There we go. Cool. Giant nesting dolls. It's kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But there it is. There's another picture for you. Thanks, the dude. I no think that problem. turned out well. Yeah, I think it did. Awesome. All right, guys. This is the dude in Pelican Tacos, and we're out. Yeah.